us on Today in Nashville. I'm Carol Sullivan. It is clear the shelter's extravaganza brought to you by Bart Durham Injury Law. All month long, NBC Universal Local teaming up with hundreds of shelters nationwide. And today we are showcasing some of Middle Tennessee's shelters. They work so hard. They find loving homes for so many families every single day. First up, Nashville Humane Association. This organization, one of the oldest service organizations organizations in the city. Nashville Humane's roots go way back 1887. Back then it was the Society to Protect Children and draft horses. So the group was incorporated in the 40s and today it protects and serves the well-being of animals in Davidson County. Here with Nashville Humane, we've got Isabella Ravella Farrelly and the star <laughs> Roxanne, who is currently available for adoption and fostering. We're going to get into how you can adopt and how you can foster. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having Tell us Tell me today. a little bit about Roxanne here. She's going to be our yeah. pet of the week and we'll do a deep dive. But <laughs> let's explain the, the cone effect because under care right now at National Yes, Union. she is. As you can see, she is a basset <laughs> we're getting mix. The best, we're not yes. getting the best size of Roxanne right now, but you know, did you put doggy treats back there? <laughs> maybe, maybe. So she, she, she came to the shelter and needed a little bit of medical care. Yeah, she did. She actually is wearing this little cone because she has a double ear infection. Oh. It's a basset hound thing with those big ears. Uh, so yeah, she's currently undergoing care at our shelter. Um, she is available for adoption, but as we will mention later, she will definitely do great in a foster home to help take care of those ears. <laughs> she is... She's all there she goes. Now right she's, now. Getting she's getting settled in, and mm -hmm. we hope you are too. Um, yeah, double ear infection, quick, easy thing to get care mm -hmm. of. But yeah. one of the many things that you guys do for dogs and cats uh, before they go to their forever home is make sure that they are all taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the best and most perfect thing. Roxanne, you sit down and let's talk about the adoption process that you guys engage in at Nashville Humane. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about what you guys do to make sure you have those forever homes, those perfect matches. Definitely. So we'll have people come in. Maybe it's their first time coming to the shelter. Maybe they've adopted from us before. We'll have them fill out a quick form so we get some information on what they're looking for, um, how to best match them. Some people come in knowing exactly who they want to adopt and some people kind of need some help in the matchmaking department so we'll get some information from them what their lifestyle is like um, if they have experience with dogs or cats and then we'll try to best match them with who we think would be the best fit if they are looking for an active dog more of a couch cuddler um, or like an active cat, affectionate cat, things like that. Um, we'll get information from them and then we'll go over that with our animal care team uh, or us, anyone who knows the animal. From there, they'll get to meet them, fall in love with them, and they'll let us know up front if they want to adopt. So from there, uh, we will, you know, get this folder ready. We have a folder yeah, you guys, here. You have a folder, you um, a whole, if you have adopted okay. from us before, you know exactly what this is. Um, we have everything from their medical history on here, any microchip tags, rabies tags that they have. If they're on medication like Roxanne is, our vet team will go over that with the adopters, give them the medications. <laughs> um, and we will go over a bunch of things that they need, like their medical history. And then we also have a lot of post-adoption resources. So we take care of our animals in the shelter and we wanna make sure they're taken care of when they're in their forever homes. So that includes a um, healthy start certificate. We have a partnership with the VCA hospitals in Nashville. So we will go um, over that with you. Uh, we always recommend taking them to the vet within two weeks of them going home. So uh, we have- Which is great, because you really need to establish that veterinary oh, care. You know, mm -hmm. don't, even though, even though they have told me, there you go. Uh, she's done the laps and now Roxanne's like, yeah. I'm done. Is it time for a commercial break, Roxanne? You she might be is. right. The the adoption <laughs> process is so simple, and I love that you talk about the matchmaking because mm -hmm. maybe you don't know what type of animal suits pets in your home. And I know your whole team gets to know the personalities Definitely. of the pets mm -hmm. before they leave and head out the door. So more information, go to 615-352-1010 on the socials. Nashville Humane, they're right here in West Nashville. You can always stop by, too. Coming up, we're going to talk about committing to adoption. And there is a way to help the shelter that has maybe a shorter version. Maybe you want to foster. Maybe you'll turn into a foster fail like me. With